This is Art Now and Then. My name is Jim Lane. One of the largest, most elegant portraits ever painted was done by the French artist Hyacinthe Rigaud in 1701. The painting measures over nine feet in height and nearly eight feet in width. And anyone who has ever studied French history of the time has undoubtedly seen it. The incredible tour de force of painting depicts a life-size Louis XIV regaled in all his ermine-lined robes of royal splendor amidst a theatrical display of scarlet drapery that can only be called fit for a king. Painted when the Sun King was not exactly in his prime, the 63-year-old monarch still cuts quite an impressive figure of stalwart royalty. Probably the most notable feature of the portrait is the king's elegantly graceful legs, of which he was obviously quite proud. They're shown exposed to well-past mid-thigh and clad in white hosiery. On his feet are a pair of red high-heeled shoes and a good two-inch heel, which he invented himself to compensate for his shortness. Were the image anything other than royalty, we might be tempted to call the pose effeminate, uh, complete with massive sheathed, uh, sheathed sword and gold walking stick, the king seems to literally be strutting his stuff. The French fleur-de-lis pattern in the royal robes matches the upholstery of both the royal throne and the royal ottoman upon which rests the royal crown. Despite the pompous pose and the distracting magnificence of the setting, the direct gaze of the man behind the legend makes the portrait movingly human. Rigaud's great talent rests in his ability to minimize his features, figures' less tra attractive features while still managing to maintain a good likeness. His handling of fabric and texture is nothing less than exquisite, even though to our eyes the whole painting extravaganza borders on the hilarious.